My name's Sam and I'm a community care worker on the assisted living team and we work with children not to 18 with disabilities. I'm also in my final year at university to become an occupational therapist as well. If my mum, where did you put me? Because you're a superstar. Yeah. So what do you think of Sam? Has she been really helpful? Yes. <laughs> She's really kind for me for my empathy. I love working with the children and with the families. It's so rewarding just giving them simple bits of equipment that can really make a massive difference in their home. I think that a lot of the things that we take for granted, the simple things we do like getting dressed, getting in the bath, the showers, just getting around our home in general, I think we tend to take that for granted and sometimes some of the children we work with find this exceptionally difficult and then we can come in and give them some equipment, some resources that will help them just make their lives so much easier for them, for family life. So yeah, I'm Amy's father and uh, we've had a wide range of support for, for Amy over the years um, from the council. Um, both on actual getting a grant to do modifications to the house to make Amy's life much easier, which has been really, really important. And just widening the doorways, creating a wet room for her and a downstairs room for her. Just means that she, you know, it's a lot easier for us to be honest, coping with her needs, being able to do everything on the same floor. Uh, and then just things like bathing, toilet, everything like that, which can be quite tricky yeah, in, a, in a normal normal enclosed space. is much, much easier with a spacious wet room. So that's, so that's been great. And then, you know, day to day, week, week in, week out, we get support with, you know, occupational therapists and physiotherapy. Uh, and the whole team around Amy really trying to find ways to, to make her quality of life as, as good as possible. You know, and we really, obviously, we really appreciate that. Um, you know, Amy's got a great attitude and she'll, she'll take full advantage of any opportunity that she can get. But still, you know, she obviously still has a lot of challenges in day to day and everything that people do, you know, from the council is fantastic. And, helps us and, and helps him. Any child that has disability or any difficulties accessing stuff in the family home or they're at risk of any injury um, because their home is not safe because of the their condition, their disability, they can ask for a referral into our team and the simplest way to do that is to contact the MASH team, the multi-agency safeguarding hub and then just ask for an occupational therapy assessment and the MASH advisor will talk you through the processes and they will take all the information and then that will trigger the referral into the assisted living team.